Hello Crossroads family and anyone else who may be listening to this. My name is Keegan coming to you with the daily devotion for Friday and Crossroads is in a current sermon series called The Churches and this past Sunday Pastor Paul taught on how the church is sent out and how we're called to not just be a church that goes and worships but we're called to be the hands and feet um, out in the world and be the hands and feet of Jesus to share uh, his amazing good good news with the world and the reading comes from acts chapter one or acts excuse me for the volume acts chapter 13 one through three and it reads in the church at antioch there were prophets and teachers barnabas simon called niger lucius of cyrene manan and saul while they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. So after they had fasted and prayed, they placed their hands on them and sent them off. So how are we sent off? We're sent off by worshiping, by praying, and by fasting. And in other words, a way I would like to look at is our horizontal relationships or our ability to be sent out and witness to others and uh, the ability to be a powerful witness to others and how fruitful um, our ministries would be, if you will, all stem from our vertical relationship with God. So our, horizontal, our vertical relationship with God needs to be right first. We start out with the worshiping, praying, and fasting, and then we're well equipped to work on those horizontal relationships of bringing Jesus to others. <laughs> And also just from a practical standpoint as well, not necessarily witnessing in general, but when our vertical relationship is healthy and we are spending time with God and thriving in our relationship with him, our horizontal relationships are just going to be healthier and more productive in general because we have that mind and heart of Christ on and we're not looking to um, get or receive things from others, but we're looking to give and be a blessing to others. So another verse, we talked about it um, in the start of the sermon series, is kind of the most popular Acts verse, is Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And it states, but you will receive power. And Pastor Paul taught on this, he mentioned how the word power is a Greek word, dynamis, and it's actually where we get the word dynamite. So God's calling us to be um, dynamite in the world, if you will, or those fireworks. Um, and that something supernatural can happen through us uh, when we're empowered by the Holy Spirit. So, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So what we can take away from this verse is it says, be witnesses in Jerusalem where the church started, the early church, and in all Judea and Samaria, and then also to the ends of the world of the earth so we are called to be witnesses and sent out for here near and far and that's what pastor paul taught on we're taught here we're called to sent out here so that's just our family and friends people close to us we're called to be witnesses to them share our faith with them and uh, live a thriving lives and that kind of may sound weird if you grew up in a christian family but just like the verse encourages us iron sharpens iron we're still called to enable people and help people on their faith walk and journey even our family that already know jesus we're called to continue through our sanctification process grow closer to him so we are called here those are people closest to us our family and friends we're also called near so our community or surrounding communities maybe that's at school or at work we're called to be witnesses and sent out there as well and then lastly far and far isn't just always physically, like around the world or become a missionary overseas. Uh, that's definitely important end of way, very important. Um, as we see here, that Pastor Paul mentioned there's 65,000 different people groups in the world that have never heard of Jesus. So that's something we should definitely consider of becoming a missionary and going overseas if that's what God's laid on your heart. But it's not always physically, sometimes Pastor Paul taught on as well how it's not always physically, but sometimes those closest to us in terms isn't location, but it's those other barriers, if you will. 
whether it's emotionally, sociologically, uh, culturally, we have those different barriers that make it hard to navigate. And even sometimes people closest to us in location really are far from us because of those other barriers. But through God, all things are possible in prayer. And even sometimes those that are closest to us that really are distant because of those other barriers, we can still break through those because of God's grace and his, um, with his help. So lastly too, um, we, get, we are called, like Pastor Paul mentioned, those 65,000 groups that have never heard of Jesus. We're called to support them in numerous ways, even if we're not called to actually be sent out and go there physically. We can support them financially, we can support them through prayer, and also through technology and building relationships that way and actually praying with them physically of other missionaries you may know overseas right now. Uh, and then last, I wanna leave with a challenge. Pastor Paul had mentioned one of the church members had kind of a cool little word or quote. She said, don't be a caterpillar, be a pillar. So in other words, a caterpillar is someone who just call, crawls in and out of church, crawls in and out of church um, but we're called to be pillars. We're called to be that firm foundation for the body of Christ that doesn't just merely listen to the word, but does what it says, that puts our faith into action and truly reaches out in love and acceptance so that all may become fully, devoters, fully devoted followers of Jesus Christ. So my prayer and hope today is that for me and for everyone listening is that we do our best to be pillars for God and we take um, his, wor his word seriously when he says we're called to be sent out and be his powerful witnesses. So have a great Friday and weekend. God bless.